let's talk about Jeremy a bit because I was reading an interview that your wife did, uh, Reverend Kathy. Yes. She was talking about him and describing him as a child who reminds you as a couple of God's goodness. Yes. Um, he was born with cerebral palsy. Yes, yes, yeah. Um, and you know, one looking at it, it it's a child. First, for those who do not know, break it down for us. What is cerebral palsy? A cerebral palsy, Jeremy was born five months, two weeks in the womb. So he wasn't completely um, uh, uh, completely formed. So when he was born, he was born a, a premature. And, and, um, and so some of the <coughs> functions of, of, of his body were not completely formed. Yeah. And so he, he struggles with walking and uh, even writing. Uh, he's f perfect in terms of talking, in mm -hmm. terms of all the other functions. But he has to use a walker when he's walking. Okay. And, um, and to be honest, it's been a great challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we've been praying for him and believing God that uh, something good is going to happen. Yeah. But that is, that is Jeremy. So he has to walk with a walker and uh, uh, move around with a walker. With a walker. Yes. For you as a pastor, and you know, the Bible says he's Jehovah Rapha, God yeah. our healer. Mm. This child's coming into the world, Jeremy, and there you are praying, and now he still has to yes. use a walker. Yeah. How do you reconcile this is god who heals yeah i am a pastor i am ministering yes. in essence i should be first yes. in line in those <laughs> blessings yes. you know yeah um how do you reconcile that within yourself that is it ever gonna happen is it ever gonna be healed will it always be like this if it's like this why god yeah yeah how do you do uh, first of all i believe that jeremy will walk without a shadow of doubt he yeah. will walk by himself and i believe that god will do that miracle but see uh, sophia god is god and God knows what it is that he's doing in each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. As much as I'm his father and I'm a pastor, I don't know what God is doing with Jeremy. And I don't know why God has allowed Jeremy to go through, through that route. Mm -hmm. What I know is that when we, when we were believing God for a baby boy, we were praying, we said, before we, uh, we, uh, we Jeremy was conceived, my wife and I held hands and said, God, give us a, 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 a boy child. His name shall be Jeremiah and we'll dedicate him to you as a prophet. And we prayed about it. And we knew without a shadow of doubt that God had our prayer. Mm -hmm. And uh, when Jeremy now was born and he came with this condition, we said, God, it's you who knows why you're taking him through this route. Yeah.